my daughter made my wife a key lime pie. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, that is big. This was from scratch, and it was like, whoo. And my daughter was so impressed with her work, she should, this is good work, that she wanted her to taste it now before Mother's Day. Now, now, now. So, my wife, being so accommodating as she is to such demands of her children on her life, accommodated and had some. And, it, and you know, my wife has a taste for key lime pie, and this one meet the category. Okay? This was, and then I heard her say this morning to her daughter, without any provocation from her daughter, I thought about having some this morning, but I told myself no. Yeah. You know, there are things we have to say no to ourselves beyond key lime pie. Right? We have to say no. And, and, and then after saying no, we have to die to it. And how often does that have to happen in our life? Oh, yes. And isn't it true? Isn't it true? It's true. It's true. And here's how we're successful in that. Not that you sit around and think of how much it is that you had to deny and how much you really wanted it, and even though you're not doing it and dying to yourself on it, you really would like to. No, you just get up and you start following Jesus, and you go hard after following Jesus. And I want you to know that the strength of that thing is like water off your back when you go after Jesus. It's like gone. It's like dripping. It's like off. But if you sit there and you soak and you sour in what you can't have, I want you to know it is like <clears throat> clamp down. Okay? That's the deal. So you get up and you follow. 